This movie was not the easiest to watch. Um, it's it, it's beyond good. I mean, this is probably gonna be a long review. This is this is really good. It just opened a lot of wounds that have been healing, and. I could not stop crying throughout the whole movie. I was just, I was just getting out some emotions I haven't gotten out. Um, and then in a way it helped. Um, even though those themes were grief, loss, survival, grief and loss among them, um, in a way it was personal. Um, so, so that's why it's personal to me because of the loss I've gone through. Um, I I don't want to go into that as I'm just gonna start crying again. Um, just diving into the movie, what really starts to starts to break you down emotionally is the beginning of the film alone. Its opening scene is the child's death. That's when that's how they start the movie. And there, the funeral scene was in the beginning, and um, <clears throat> that was another emotional point. It's the way they wrote it. It's the way they started off the scene um, that got us so emotionally charged from the get go. It was just, it was insane. Um, Yeah, at some point, I really couldn't tell if they were acting or if they were actually grieving. Uh, Letitia Wright, especially, who plays Shuri, you, you can't tell. That's how real it is um, throughout the movie. It's just that real, it's that emotional. They had to relive the death of their close friend. Um, probably felt, too, felt like a brother to Letitia Wright, so I felt more real. Um... Uh, sorry, I am trying to get through this. That was emotionally draining. Um, at one point in the movie, Riri was talking, Riri Williams, you know, Ironheart, was talking about her father, and I lost my stepfather when I was 13, and that was very difficult because I was going through other stuff and that really didn't help if that makes any sense and I'm sorry, I just, I'm, I'm remembering a lot at the moment. It's not easy to remember everything. Um, yeah, they, they set the tone right away. They set it. They set the tone for the entire movie just from the first opening scene. Um... Um, oh god, my eyes, my eyes are raw, they hurt. Oh, god, my eyelids are raw, I should say my eyelids. This is a amazing, amazing tribute to Chevy Bozeman. It's like in, in the beginning, you know, the, the Marvel Studios um, intro, there was no music. It was a moment of silence. It was like we are all 
taking a collective moment of silence, seeing the movie, especially when you watch it at home, it's like you're taking that moment. And yeah, they just they did amazing. I've I'm very sorry. I'm breaking down again. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I apologize. Like I said, I'm sorry. Um, getting to the good shit, the spoiler shit, more spoiler shit. Killmonger was in the ancestral plane when Shuri became the Black Panther when she took the synthetic heart-shaped herb that she created using the telecom plant and vibranium. The only way it would have worked if it glowed, it glowed. So she took about half of it. There's still some of it left. Probably just going to store that just in case. The, the action was... Um, sorry... It's indescribable. It's um, it's hard to put to words. I'm speechless. This is this is a lot to put into words, man. This is this is a good one, and yeah, it just yeah, it'll break you. It will break you emotionally. It will, yeah, it'll it'll tug on the heartstrings. That's for sure. That's. Oh, man. The final fight between Shuri and Namor was absolutely insane. <laughs> Shuri, like, just her strength alone outside of the suit. That was cool to see. She, I think that was Dora Milaje armor. She just literally punched that motherfucker right into a wall, like, some odd number of feet away. And created a small crater in the wall. That's how strong she is. Oh my god, that was that was my favorite part of the movie. Sure, it becomes Black Panther, and we all called it. We were all right. We were correct. If I'm not wrong, um, the Midnight Angels, I believe that's what they were um, taking straight out of the comics, and Shuri's Black Panther suit looks like she took so much inspiration. Um, if she made the suit, I don't know if she did. Maybe she didn't, but to me, it took a lot of inspiration from Killmonger. It was a little bit of Shuri in there. Um, oh, my gosh, she looked good in the suit. Good lord. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still a little stoned, so, you know, fresh memory. I think she right is very, is very, very good looking, so I'm just saying. <laughs> um, the actual play Namor did fantastic actually absolutely fantastic Whew. the end credit scene i will not spoil it that is that is a that is so so cool that we were thinking this was going to happen and it happened but seeing killmonger return getting that that dialogue in between him and shuri was incredible I thought that was that was a great addition to the film. Like we called it, we just knew it. <laughs> yeah, that that her her not able to see uh, T'Challa. Um, yeah, 